From the moment Pokemon Generation 4 was released, the Fighting Steel type Lucario has become one of the most recognizable Pokemon to date, sporting a simple yet badass design and the unique ability to weaponize his own aura, which has seen various incarnations in fighting games such as Super Smash Bros. But today we'll be breaking down a different type of Lucario, a Lucario that while still a powerhouse is more well-rounded and balanced. He's essentially the Ryu of Pokemon Tournament. He doesn't have any particularly unique gimmicks or crazy mechanics, he doesn't particularly excel at any one thing, he's more of a jack of all trades, master of none. And so when up against characters who can stun you, trap you, fly, burrow underground, grab you from 50 meters away, punch you from 50 meters away, Lucario players need to keep a level head and adapt. And I think it's this focus on patience and understanding your opponent is what makes Lucario so endearing to play as, because mastering Lucario is equivalent to mastering the fundamentals of Pokémon itself. In field phase you want to, at least at the start, keep some distance between you and your opponent so you can get a read of their playstyle. Use a combination of different projectiles to keep them on the defense and keep applying pressure. The projectile you'll be using the most is Aura Sphere, which can be charged in three stages. The first stage has a single hitbox which comes out fast with good range. The second stage has two hitboxes with the final having multiple. Between phase transitions and any instances you have some distance between your opponent, you want to use Aura Sphere to continue applying pressure and stop enemies from rushing in. In the air, Aura Sphere has an upwards arc that is particularly useful at jumping enemies. You can also charge it in the air for a homing attack but this is generally less useful because advanced players can easily read it. Your side projectile has less range compared to his other projectiles but good horizontal coverage and can be used to catch anyone trying to get around you. Its aerial counterpart doesn't do a whole lot of damage but comes out fast and can be used in quick succession for pressure. Your forward projectile deals the most damage and his back projectile is actually more useful than you think. Sure its range is poor but it has armor properties so it can completely shut down any rushdown characters by soaking up attacks and striking back. Once you've gotten a handle of your opponent's playstyle, use your homing attack to close in. I especially like the little detail of how he propels himself with his own aura when executing it. This also happens for its dive kick, which can be effective if you time it right. But unlike other characters, Lucario has no unique aerial maneuvers such as an air dash to complement this. This weakens his aerial game a bit and makes it harder for him to approach, as he can easily be overwhelmed by other characters who have more aerial movement. Once you enter dual phase, you want to make use of your projectiles if you have some distance, but Aura Sphere is less useful here because it generally is outclassed by other kinds of projectiles, so you will need to prioritize getting up close. One of his best setup moves here is his low weak attack. This is his fastest move and has really good range and is safe on shield, but unfortunately it has limited combo follow up. Your standard weak attack is your second fastest move in this phase and opens up for a more damaging combo. Your forward strong attack is also a great combo starter. A bit risky, but charging it up allows for longer combo strings and can psych out opponents who may think you can pierce counters. You still have your dive kick, but I find it less useful here because Lucario has a naturally fast falling speed which makes better use of his aerial weak attack. Other notable moves include his standard heavy attack which acts as a launcher, it deals good damage but doesn't have the range or the speed to be that reliable of a combo starter. You also have this weird forward strong attack string that if you delay the second hit deals more damage. Its only real use is that it can be performed after a counter attack but you know, it's there if this situation arises. Now that you know how to start combos, let's talk about moves that continue them. Bone Rush is your best rushdown move here. It comes in two versions, one that ends in an upward swing and one in a downward swing. The downward version does the most damage but is the most risky because there's a moment just before the downward swing where there's an opening for your opponent to block or counter attack. That's why this is best reserved for ending combos. The upward variant doesn't actually launch your opponent if they're on the ground, but it will if you hit them in the air. It also can be used as a great surprise attack. Extreme speed is essentially your wake up. As the name suggests, this is extremely fast and has armor properties allowing it to eat up attacks. This is an excellent wake up, but you want to be careful as you're left wide open if you miss or they block. Force Palm is an interesting move, it's pretty risky to execute on its own because of its limited range, but on full charge it can be potent against knockdown opponents because of its extremely high shield damage and counter pierce properties. It can also be used to stop projectiles. Sure you can, you know, always block, but why block when you can do this? And then we have Mega Lucario. Remember that part when I said Lucario's moveset was fairly average? 
Well, everything I just said just goes right out the window when he mega evolves. If his projectiles were average in his normal form, they become some of the best in the game when he mega evolves. The first stage has two hitboxes, the second stage has... <laughs> Wait, why am I even bothering to explain the different stages? There's only one stage you need to worry about here. One thing he gains in this form is the ability to cancel out of projectiles. This is super useful because in dual phase your projectile essentially becomes a combo starter and in field phase you can get a free hit basically. There are a few other key differences between the regular and mega evolved version. His standard combo becomes this badass series of punches with an additional hit at the end. You get the same hit after a force palm 2 for a stupid amount of damage. Extreme speed gains a second hit, mitigating some of the vulnerability from the original move. Your heavy standard move also gains a second hit for extending combos. Your forward strong move gains an anti-air component. There's just so many little changes in details to animations and properties that turn Lucario into a monster. Plus I'm a sucker for attention to detail. And of course we have this Synergy Burst Attack which is a glorious display of his aura power. To add further insult to injury, if you have any extra Synergy in your tank I highly recommend you shoot off a supercharged aura sphere so you can make yourself look like even more of an asshole. This attack is very easy to combo into, any standard setup moves will do it, however it can easily be avoided by anyone who jumps or blocks, and has limited range so make sure you have enough distance between your opponent before you execute it. As for Lucario's combos, they are fairly simple to execute with some timing required when Bone Rush is involved. Need I say more, Lucario is a solid character and when he mega evolves he's a fucking monster. However aside from his mega form, his projectiles pale in comparison to other characters and up close his faster setup move doesn't allow for a lot of combos. So to do any real damage you constantly have to put yourself at risk. But I personally think that's what makes Lucario so satisfying to play as. He's the only normal one who has to put up with all the weird shit other characters do to him and is exhilarating as hell when you use nothing but the fundamentals to put other fighters in their place. So what are you waiting for? Go on and unleash your aura with Lucario. Naturally, if you felt I missed anything or have any tips of your own, please leave them down below in the comments. But until then, good luck and I'll see you on the battlefield.